Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am so sorry it has been like over a week since I've uploaded another video, but there has been so much going on. But anyway, today I want to do a um, little bit of a chat, a bit of a review on the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So, um... I tried doing a video of this before while I was actually applying the makeup and talking and I just can't seem to make a video that doesn't go for um, 40 minutes when I'm chatting and putting makeup on and I'm not comfortable with big long videos like that so I'd rather keep them short, get to the point um, as much as I can. So I did do another little video of me actually applying this um, which I'll actually put up here somewhere for you to be able to watch while we're talking about this. So anyway. I've got this on at the moment. Um, I've got to say before we even get started about talking about it is that I love it. I'm not sure if it looks a little bit too white on me. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do feel that this is a good colour for me in comparison to some other um, foundations or drugstore chemist foundations that I've come across which are definitely too dark in their lighter shade for me. So um, if it is a little bit lighter, I, th I mean a little bit too light, I think I might have to bronze it up just a little bit more. Um, or get some, maybe try the next shade up. But anyway, let's get on to it. So I'll show you again. I have the colour 201 Classic Ivory. And um, let me start off by saying if you're new to my channel, um, I have extremely dry, sensitive skin, um, prone to eczema. I usually crust up here on the head. And um, I have cool um, undertone. So it's quite difficult. I love um, the matte kind of formula, but my skin doesn't like it. So I'm generally trying to look for dewy um, consistency kind of uh, formulas in foundations. And I haven't found one yet that, um, that has shade matched me or that has been absolutely perfect. I found some good formulas, but the colors are off. So, or... Um, I found some good colours, but the formulas are off in the matte ones, so... Anyway, let's talk about this. Let's get back to it. See, I'm rambling again. Let's just have a bit of a chat about what this says. It says that it's lasting glow foundation. It's never dull and never greasy. The finish is a radiant finish and it wears up to 24 hours. 24 hours, sorry, I'm blending my words. The coverage is said to be a medium and the texture is air light. So it's a shake well. So the first time I put this on, I forgot to shake. And it is um, a runnier consistency in comparison to, say, like the um, Maybelline Fit Me range, where the, it, although that is runny, this is runnier. Um, this was relatively cheap. And um, on applying it, I, um, I started off using... I believe I started off with a brush. I believe I did a brush on this side and the... Um, uh, sponge on this side and with the sponge it was kind of like a um, light coverage I definitely had to put more on to build that up to be a medium coverage but on the side that had the brush it was definitely a medium coverage um, I kind of really want to try and find something that has full coverage because everything that I have had has either been um, sheer or medium and um, I, I do have freckles and you know red spots, spots and stuff like that and I, I know that some people really like like that but sometimes I just really like that porcelain lot of sort of look and I'm fumbling my words again anyway I love this I love how it feels um, and how you can't feel it um, it definitely is like a, a second skin it was really easy to put on I didn't find that it oxidized on me at all um, I did set my face with um, some powder I always do even though I do have dry skin I just I don't know I just I I feel that I need to I don't know I don't know I just do but anyway and I did um, put this on as well um, so this is the master fix boost a wear boosting setting spray I just find that brings down the powder um, I'm not sure whether or not this light makes my foundation or makeup last longer because I don't generally wear my makeup for long long periods of times like it might be five hours six hours max I'm not into um, wearing it for 12 hours unless unless I am out and about doing something and I'm, I generally am not so generally on a normal day I may not even wear foundation I may wear a good mascara and um, 
and I'm happy with that. But if I am going to get glammed up, it's usually only for like maybe, maybe maximum four hours. But anyway, more about this. Um, what can I say? It, yeah, it is, it does um, look in, look radiant um, when I look in the mirror. So that's definitely, definitely a plus. I don't know whether it lasts for 24 hours and I can't tell you that because I'm not going to wear it for 24 hours. It definitely is medium coverage when you are applying it with a... Um, a brush but it is definitely buildable as well so I'm not sure maybe you can build it up to a little bit full coverage but it definitely is medium so it and it is air light so everything that they've said on the back here um, besides the 24 hour wear because I'm not sure of that I don't think it's smart to wear it for 24 hours um, is definitely true it says that it is um, one fluid ounce or 30 mils radiant finish normal to dry skin and it's hydrating um, it also has SPF 15, so I don't know whether it's hydrating, but um, it's not drying, so that's something I like about it. I don't have, yeah, I did set it with um, a powder, but I don't have a sticky sort of um, feel. It feels just like a second skin, and I'll see if I can bring you in just a little bit closer to see... I've got artificial light. I have no choice but to record over night time because the baby is full on. So, well, he's not a baby anymore. He's a toddler. But anyway, I'll zoom you in just a little bit more. See if we can see what the finish is like. Maybe my head. <laughs> anyway, usually any... Um, oops. Usually any foundation that I would put on when I would zoom in like that, it would all be sticking to texture um, and looking really cakey and crusty and just not nice at all. Um, I think this is fantastic. Uh, I would love to see this in a full um, coverage consistency. Um, I'm, and I would really actually like to see this with a pump instead of it's got just one of those pourers and... I mean, look, it does the job, but I would really like to see this in a pump form. I just find pump form is so much more convenient and easier. Um, I will um, do some swatches of this and um, three other um, foundations that I currently own at the moment. Um, the other brand is All Maybelline, um, so I don't have... This is my only uh, foundation, but I will get some more. Um, definitely want to try some more from their range, uh, from the... yeah from their range but I definitely love this and if you've got dry skin I definitely say give it a go um, I haven't heard anything bad about it and um, I love the way that it feels on my skin I love the way that it looks I don't know how it looks on camera to you guys but in real life it's fantastic it was easy to blend things on there um, over the top of it I didn't lift anything um, and it set down pretty quickly so I'm really happy with it I think that's absolutely fantastic and um, next time I try this or put this on I want to try it with the um, L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer and um, I might actually just run that up along here um, maybe a little bit you know just above the eyebrows or something like that I want to see how this works with this because I think that it'll be absolutely fantastic I have got a review on this one it was a first impression and when I did my first impression of this one I wasn't sure about it because it was something that I'd never experienced before but the more that I try this the more that I love the way that it is just um, coming through all of my foundations and just making that foundation just look even more dewier and um, yeah, I just think it's absolutely fantastic. So both of these, I reckon, would be just... There would be no words, I reckon. So I'm going to do that at a later date. But anyway, if you stuck through and watched this, um, I appreciate it very much. If you liked the video, um, feel free, please, to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're um, not already subscribed. I'd like to upload a lot more videos. I do have a lot more videos coming up. I just need to pull my finger out and actually get them uploaded all, you know, like maybe just do a whole bunch and just, you know, have them sitting there so I can upload them regularly. But anyway, enough gas bagging. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, don't forget to check the bell if you're going to subscribe. That way you'll get updated every time that I put a video up. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.